Of the three CDUs installed, the center CDU is the backup for the other two CDUs. So, if the captain's CDU fails, the center CDU immediately assumes its functions. The FMCs are highly reliable and rarely fail. When the primary FMC fails, the other FMC automatically takes over. There is no loss of capability. The only indications are the ICAS advisory message and the scratch pad message displaying the functioning FMC. LNAV and VNAV modes continue operating as if nothing happened. However, there is a significant loss of capability following dual FMC failure. The Autopilot Master Caution appears. Reset the Master Caution system. The Autopilot Caution message appeared because LNAV and VNAV are engaged and inputs to the Autopilot from the FMC are not valid. The FMC advisory also appears. The CDU changes to the menu page and the FMC prompt is gone. Usually, LNAV can be re-engaged immediately after dual FMC failure using the alternate navigation feature of the CDU. Display the alternate nav legs page to check the flight plan. The CDU retains most of the flight plan at the time of FMC failure. To re-engage LNAV, you must select another role mode and then select LNAV. Engage LNAV. VNAV is an operative in alternate navigation. You must therefore engage another pitch mode. In this example, we're in a climb, so engage flight level change. Touch the highlighted area. The autopilot caution clears, but the FMC advisory remains. The airplane is now engaged in the alternate navigation mode. LNAV is limited and VNAV is completely inoperative. Any one of the three CDUs is capable of performing alternate navigation. The primary CDU is selected by the autopilot. If the primary CDU fails, either of the other two can immediately take over LNAV. The alternate navigation CDU pages are accessed and operate the same as the 747, although two of them have different page titles. Select the alternate nav legs page on the left CDU. This clearance is entered on the right CDU. Notice the left CDU has not changed. Execute the change on the right CDU. The left CDU is updated with the modifications after you execute the right CDU. Now let's see how engine failure affects the FMC. The speed limit page appears if an engine failure is detected during takeoff. The climb segment is airspeed limited until flap retraction. The thrust limit remains in takeoff. Next, the VREF plus 80 climb page appears. This occurs when either the flap handle is moved for flap retraction or the airplane climbs through engine out acceleration height. VNAV pitch commands the airplane to accelerate to VREF plus 80 knots. The thrust limit remains in takeoff. Display the thrust limit page. 
When the airspeed increases to VREF plus 80 knots, the thrust limit changes to continuous. Similar to the engine out climb page, there is an engine out cruise page. An engine has failed. Select the engine out cruise page. The CDU displays the engine out maximum cruise altitude. Enter the clearance altitude into the MCP. Touch the highlighted area. Make the engine out modifications active. The page title displays drift down to indicate that you are above the maximum altitude for engine out operation. The airplane begins drift down. Thrust is set to maximum continuous and pitch slowly reduces airspeed to engine out speed as the airplane descends. The new airspeed is minimum drag engine out speed. Either long-range cruise or company speed may be selected for the drift down. Long-range cruise speed provides better fuel performance while company speed provides an earlier ETA.